Hey Karen, I've been thinking about trying out Ubuntu as my new operating system. Do you know much about it? Definitely Sarah. Ubuntu is a popular Linux distribution that is easy to use and good for both beginners and experienced users. Can you give me a bit of its history? Sure. Ubuntu was first released in 2004 by Canonical Limited. It's based on Debian and was created to make Linux accessible to everyone. It's had a strong focus on ease of use and regular updates. What are some key features and benefits? Ubuntu has a lot to offer. It's free and open source, comes with a wide range of pre-installed software, and has strong community support. It also emphasizes security with regular updates and offers excellent performance. I'd like to install it. Could you walk me through the steps? Yes, of course. First, you'll need to download the Ubuntu ISL from their official website. Then, create a bootable USB drive with a tool like Rufus. Boot your computer from the USB drive and follow the on-screen instructions to install Ubuntu. What if I want to dual boot it with Windows or MacOS? Dual booting is a great option. You'll need to partition your hard drive to create space for Ubuntu. During installation, select the option to install Ubuntu alongside your existing OS. It will guide you through the setup. What about setting up a virtual machine? For a virtual machine, you can use software like VirtualBox or VMware. Install the software, create a new virtual machine, and follow the prompts to install Ubuntu using the ISO file. Thanks. What desktop environment does Ubuntu use? Ubuntu uses the GNOME desktop environment by default. It's clean and user-friendly. You can customize it to suit your preferences with different themes and extensions. Are there other desktop environments I can try? Yes, you can install and switch to environments like KDE Plasma, XFCE, or LXDE if you prefer something different. Each has its own set of features and aesthetics. I've heard about the command line. Can you introduce me to it? Sure. The terminal is a powerful tool in Ubuntu. You can use it to navigate files, manage packages, and perform various system tasks. Basic commands like ls, cd, mdr, and rm are essential. How do I manage software through the command line? You can use the apt package manager. Commands like sudo apt update, sudo apt upgrade, sudo apt install less than package greater than, and sudo apt remove less than package greater than are very handy. What about installing software through the graphical user interface? You can use the Ubuntu Software Center, which is very user-friendly. It lets you browse, install, and remove software easily. And third-party software? For that, you might need to add repositories or download dev files. Be cautious and make sure they're from trusted sources. How about system administration and maintenance? Managing users and permissions is crucial. Commands like adduser, deluser, and user mod help. For networking, tools like ifconfig and netstat are useful. For system monitoring, you can use top, top, and system monitor. I'm a developer. How can I set up a development environment on Ubuntu? Ubuntu is great for developers. You can install IDEs like Visual Studio Code, configure languages like Python, Java, and Node.js, and use Git for version control. What about security and privacy? Always keep your system updated. Use tools like UF, Uncomplicated Firewall, and Clam A4 Antivirus. Privacy tools like NUP for encryption and privacy-focused browsers are also recommended. Can I use Ubuntu for everyday tasks? Definitely. There are productivity tools like LibreOffice, multimedia applications like VLC, and even game and support through platforms like Steam and Lutris. What if I run into issues? Common issues can often be solved by checking forums and documentation. For installation problems, ensure your media is correctly created. For hardware compatibility, check the manufacturer's website. For system crashes, recovery tools like FSCK and boot repair can be useful. Thanks Karen. I'm excited to give Ubuntu a try. You're welcome Sarah. Enjoy exploring Ubuntu. It's a fantastic OS with a lot to offer.